Welcome to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine at JSA, and we are coming to you live from Metro Connect 2023 in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And this is the wrap up of day one interviews live on site. And I'm here with my lovely colleague, Nikki. Nikki, how's it going? It's great. It's been a wonderful first day at Metro Connect. This is my first one, but it has been an awesome first day, and I'm looking forward to day two. As am I, but let's go ahead and recap day one. Uh, a couple of things from my notes uh, from Powerhouse Data. They are in the middle of uh, building and planning a six data center uh, expansion in Northern Virginia, right there at the uh, the big hub there in uh, in Northern Virginia. So that's a big a big tech away from uh, Powerhouse Data Centers. How about you? What do you think? I think also uh, so much growth going on with them, and they also are sponsoring or putting on a 5K, which is also very exciting, yeah. community oriented, and we'd love to hear that from our clients. So that's also some exciting news that they have going on. Yeah. So congratulations to Powerhouse Data on that expansion and the uh, the 5K. So very, very cool. Um, something, okay. We, we spoke with Philip Marangella at, uh, um, at Edge Connects. They have always got a lot going on there. Philip uh, was was quick to go to, uh, go to the pillars, the customers, people, and planet. You take care of those things and everything follows suit. And clearly it is as one of the, if not the largest private data center uh, in the world right now. So other other, uh, other thoughts on Philip? Yeah, he also shared with us like some his uh, some of his opinions about upcoming trends, mm -hmm. like specifically AI, and also just like a continued emphasis on cloud, which is always interesting to hear from you know such an expert in the field about what we can all be on the look for look look out for for uh, for next the next year. Yeah, yeah, and Philip is always, and obviously we started with uh, with a big win, a, a big uh, DNI oh, yes, win. Yes, yes, a big award for, win for yes. Philip. Award winning. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, the award winning Philip. <laughs> yes. um, very cool. Um, so the other thing, I had a, uh, I had a, a great pre conversation and post conversation and existing yes. conversation <laughs> with Jim Bowie, the president and CEO of Involta. Specifically, uh, the one thing that. Uh, that Jim brought forward, I'd never heard this before, was a tiered disaster recovery as a service solution. And he rightfully said, you know, people don't even think necessarily about uh, DR until there is a actual disaster. Right. And so as a way to kind of bring people, uh, uh, current and potential uh, customers along, they're offering this tiered disaster recovery as a service service, um, which to me made a whole lot of sense. Yeah. And so interesting, you know, so many times we're thinking about like what's coming next and growth and expansion. And we don't always want to spend time thinking about like disaster and stuff like that, but they seem to have, you don't like, want to spend time thinking about disasters. No, 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 I don't. And so, but it's really, I mean, just like what they're doing and their approach to just, you know, the solutions is, is incredible. Yeah, no, I agree. And, uh, again, I think that, that, um, speaking with Jim, specifically about uh, the edge and cloud as it relates to um, their their impact on the verticals mm -hmm. that they serve, exactly. healthcare, fintech, and things mm -hmm. like that. Uh, really, really engaging conversation. So thanks to Jim for being here. Um, maybe my favorite interview mm -hmm. of the day was getting to talk about Juliana D'Angelo's hire um, by XKL as their chief financial and administrative officer. She had served as uh, a consultant, a consultant I yeah. with them uh, just a year ago, and they were so impressed by her that they ended up hiring her as the chief financial officer. Pretty impressive stuff there. Yeah, she seems like a great addition to like a well-established team. So I think it's just, it's only going to be great things to come. And she actually teased a little bit saying that we should all plug in to their LinkedIn profile because they have some new announcements. Dean tried to dig and get a she little wasn't bit of, biting but she was not biting at all <laughs> so we should all just kind of plug into her page um, and the company's page to learn more about what they have coming up yeah yeah and uh, the name again is Juliana D'Angelo chief financial and administrative officer at XKL good things happening there at XKL um, that was a no show so we'll have to get them well, tomorrow the and page. then I think the last one we had today was with mr. that's right mr. Ken parent Ken is the CEO of element critical so the big things going on over at Element Critical is all about growth. And I think that's a lot. We're yeah. seeing a lot of growth stories in the industry right now, specific to uh, data centers, edge data centers, and uh, making sure that they are meeting kind of the data needs of, uh, of the, uh, the digitally transformed world. Yes, exactly. He had a very big emphasis on growth and um, mergers and acquisitions. So I think that we can only expect like good things for to come for them as well for the coming year.
Yeah, absolutely. And Nikki, it has been a lot of fun working with yes, you today. Ditto, so, I agree. Yeah, so thank you very much. And thank you viewers for tuning in to day one of Metro Connect 2023 in Fort Lauderdale. We will see you at the Cumulus. Oh, that's right. Cumulus Data is sponsoring the Welcome uh, Beachside Barbecue tonight at Metro Connect. So please join us there. Come say hello. Come network. Um, mingle with people that you haven't been able to see. A beach, a barbecue, and people you people. haven't seen in a couple of years. All, or all the good stuff. All, all of the great stuff. Speaking of great stuff, we will be right back here tomorrow doing all of this again. We will have a recap for you at the end of the day. And I think that's a wrap for day one. That's a wrap. Bye, everybody. All right. Happy networking.